to next. Let me check my notes. Huh, this way. Got it. Kale, please follow me. Lucky day. There are several people over there. Amber? Wow! And Eula's with her too! Hmm? Oh, it's Sucrose! And Klee also spies! Mm, the girl with the long scarf! Kale, we were just talking about you. Oh, right, I don't think you've been introduced to Noel before. Kale, this is Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Nice to meet you, Kale. I missed you the last few times you were in Mondstadt, so I'm glad to finally meet you in person. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too, Noelle. My name is Kale. But you already knew that. Relax, you two. There's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Klee, what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? Nope. Klee's on patrol with the other knights. Huh. Now that you mention it, it looks like everyone here is a knight of Favonius except for Kale and me. I'd heard that there was a very young knight in the ranks, but it's still a surprise to see with my own eyes. Kale, what do you do? I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Trainee? It means I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Oh, you're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming a fully qualified knight. Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now. This isn't a very formal patrol. We're just chatting. <sighs> Don't panic, Kale. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. It's just Amber and her friends. There's no need to be nervous. Let me guess. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yep. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Amber! Ah! Uh, sorry, I, uh... <laughs> at least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. Oh no. How am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? Speaking of nice surprises, we've actually had a fairly big one recently. What kind of surprise? Tell me, tell me! Uh, I'm saved. Sigros has given me a lead-in. Now, I just need to follow on from what she's already started talking about. Hmm, what an interesting prophecy. I have no idea what the answers could be, though. So, essentially... You're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much, Eula. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench for people to drop us a note once they've thought of something. I'll drop something in there for sure. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yep, don't worry, you can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. What route are you taking today? We started in the Stormbearer Mountains, and we'll end at the city gates. You'd be very welcome to join us, but it sounds like you're pretty busy with all this. Um... No. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Oh... Yeah, so, um, we'll be on our way for now. <laughs> See you later. Have a safe trip back. Are you okay, Kali? Uh, 
Was it that obvious? No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. Mm. So that means it was obvious. Mm. Whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Thanks, Sucros. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Amber's a really important friend to me. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably with me. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Amber was the one person who didn't give up on me, and if it wasn't for her persistence, I wouldn't have found a friend at all. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. I think of her as my role model, and hoped that maybe one day, I could learn to be like her. But after trying and failing for several years, I think I finally realized. I'm no Amber, and I never will be. Looking back, it seems silly that I ever thought like that. Or nothing alike at all. My personality is so... <sighs> weird. I always get so anxious and I overthink everything. Aw, Kali. Don't say that. <sighs> um, Sucrose? Would it be okay if I... told you a bit about my past? already knew bits and pieces about her, but still, why did she have to go through all that? <sighs> I'm sorry. You've only just met and I'm already dumping all of this on you. This is why I get so frustrated at myself. I'm always doing this. I get into a spiral of self-doubt and then I end up having to find somewhere to vent it all out. <sighs> no, 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 it's fine. <sighs> I'm... Really glad that you're willing to tell me all this. People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? At least, I think it's kind of an honor. And, I mean, um, you've probably noticed by now, but I don't have the best social skills either. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in. And going on, and on. But even so, you still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. If you hadn't told me all of those things, I never would have guessed that you struggle so much. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we're very similar people. R really Yeah. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. I certainly do. All the feelings that you talked about just now. I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward, I relate to that so much. Oh, and also that part about studying under a genius. In fact... Before meeting you, I'd never met anyone who seemed so similar to myself. Oh. Um. I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything. And I'm not going to tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. How about we just sit here for a little while? We don't have to force a conversation if we can't think of anything. We can just... sit here together. Sucros has stopped talking, but for some reason, this doesn't feel awkward at all. Maybe she's right, and we're more similar than I realized. In Sumeru, I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery, but it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my side. Mondstadt's breeze is so gentle and soft. 
Hey, Kali. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like... One of my test tubes? Um... Uh... I don't think so. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> then... Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. At least... Not when it comes to looking at clouds in the sky. <laughs> Thank you, Sucrose. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah. It helps a lot, doesn't it? I also vent to my flasks... sometimes. The next time I get the chance, I have to show you my tetratanic sweet flower. And my tetratanic wind bloom. Your tetra... what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might like them. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Sure. Hmm, I'll try the cheese one. Aw, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. Hmm, shall we go play with them? No, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. We're not what Kale needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different, who's never met her before. Mm, I don't get it. Is there a difference? There is. You'll understand once you're a little older, Klee. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kale needs someone that's just not the same old me. Star Snatch Clip! We made it! I'm on hopes we find someone we need here. Help! Oh, I beg you, please don't let go! <sighs> Who's that yelling? Let's hurry and take a look! Timaeus? And we also have Rosaria and Mona? What kind of mishmash ensemble is this? Good question. What kind of a motley crew is this? It's been a while, Traveler. You two are looking pretty good. I trust you've been well. Yep, we're definitely faring a lot better than this poor guy on the ground. Hey, please don't rub salt in my wound. I really have been trying my best. Oh, you're one to talk. If this sister hadn't grabbed you in time, then you'd have been seriously hurt, if not dead. I, I know, I know. I really am grateful, miss. I, I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Just lending a hand. Quite literally. And had she not lent him a hand and pulled him up, he would have gone tumbling down the cliffside. What happened? Did Timaeus almost fall off the cliff? Uh, well, so what actually happened was... I came to Star Snatch Cliff today to pick some flowers and ran into Mona on the way. She took a look at her scry glass and advised me to turn back, because it would be dangerous. But you still came up here anyway? Well, yes, I did, because there's something I just had to do. Oh, I hardly think giving flowers to your crush is worth throwing one's life away for. It's rare to run into someone with a death wish in this area. I, I don't have a death wish. I just... Uh... Didn't think it would really come true. I mean, when Mona said it would be dangerous, I, I thought I'd be fine as long as I watched my step cautiously. I I'm sorry, okay? I, I was wrong. I I'm telling you, I'm just here chasing the love of my life. Love struck Mondstadters is what the Windbloom Festival's all about. Okay, that explains you. But why is Rosaria here? I was looking for a quiet place to escape the crowds. I wasn't planning on having to save a life along the way. So that's why the scryglass just showed danger instead of fatal danger. 
<laughs> Very funny. Anyway, uh, Traveler and Paimon, uh, what brings the two of you to Star Snatch Cliff? Just trying our luck. We've got a lot of people we need to see today, so we've been all over the place. Actually, you're some of the people we were looking for. Huh? Huh, I see. So, all we'll need to do is find some clues, make a note, and drop it off at the mailbox? I, I can't believe there's a prophecy like this, and let alone that I have a part to play in it. Oh, I guess this means everyone will find out about my crush now. <laughs> I, I came here because I wanted to give some Cecilias to the girl I love. They'll really suit her. She's... No, 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 no one asked. Please, do not subject us to your gushing about your girlfriend. Uh, oh, you saw right through me. You said you need clues, right? In that case, Mona Magistus the Astrologist will provide you with a personally handwritten letter. Just wait for it to show up in your mailbox. You can be on your way now. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then let's head back for now and meet up with everyone else. Will do. Uh, this is all so embarrassing. Uh, thank you both. We're back! Oh, but it looks like you two beat us. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Yep! We managed to find and talk to everybody! We got back a little early, so we took some time just now to put the mailbox together. We got really lucky today. The vendors were feeling super generous, so we didn't even need to pay for the materials. It's just a shame that Kali got a splinter. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm used to working in the rainforest. I get splinters all the time. I've already taken care of it. We've already wrapped up everything on our to-do list for today. So, all we need to do now is wait for everyone's letters to arrive. Traveler, Paimon, why don't you get some rest while I keep an eye on the mailbox? You're definitely your master's student, Sucrose. As long as you are Albedo are around, Paimon can relax and know that everything's taken care of. <sighs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Uh, wait. Actually, there's one thing that still needs taking care of. Paimon starving. Hey, Traveler, you want to get dinner? Your treat. I'll go with Sucrose to return the leftover materials to the vendors. You two, go get a proper meal. We can't have anyone going hungry. Yeah, now would be a good time for a break. Once everything is ready... Let's meet up here again and collate all the information we've gathered. Sounds like a plan! Hi, Mom will have this one, and this one, ooh, and this one. Paimon's really hungry! And don't forget, Paimon's also ordering for you, too! It's not like Paimon's gonna eat everything by herself! Ooh, Paimon is super full. Is everything packed up and ready? What do you think about meeting up at 5 to go to my house? Yes, everything's ready. I've packed some great wine and smoked ham. Oh, your parents will love it. <clears throat> ham? Look, we've known each other for quite some time now. Don't you think it's been long enough for you to remember that we only eat bacon in my house? Hmm. I must remember to get some milk today on my way home. Please, feel free to pay a visit to Cat's Tail anytime. 
enjoying the scenery. Oh, Tonga Ford! Are you here for some food as well? Oh, -ho, I can put something on your tab? Well, that's a pity. I already had a few drinks before coming here. I shall take you up on your kind offer another day. There should be no shortage of opportunities in the future. Anywho, you should be getting ready to thank me. I come bearing good news. Hmm? What kind of good news? Behold! What is it? It's what you need the most right now. <laughs> the answer to the prophetic puzzle. Simply head to the location marked on the map and you'll find the lantern you've been looking for. However, if I were you, I wouldn't just go and reveal the secret right away. As you've seen, a lot of people have been laboring hard to uncover the answer. A secret is like a well-aged brew. The aroma from the bottle is sweetest when revealed in the company of friends. Well, then it's settled. I'll leave you to your business for now. Feel free to find me for a chat again once you're done working through the prophecy. <laughs> also, if you have some time, we could organize another fast track love poem class. Oh, you're starting that up again? I sure am. Nobody else has signed up this year, though, so the duty to learn falls on you. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Fenty always looks so relaxed whenever we run into him. Uh, Paimon can't help but be jealous. Excuse me, if you don't mind, could I chat with you for a moment? Oh? Who are you? You may call me Scarlet. Just like you, I'm a traveler visiting Mondstadt from another land. Mind if I buy you a drink? Leaving the door open for another time, I see. I can tell that you've dealt with a lot of people during your travels. You can tell? Well, we are very experienced adventurers after all. I can. That's why I tried to strike up a conversation with you in the first place. I was on my way to go shopping earlier when I overheard your conversation next to the crafting bench. From what I could gather, you are trying to investigate a bizarre prophecy? Yep. Bizarre is definitely the word. Ugh. Don't you think it sounds just like the kind of story that would happen in Mondstadt? Anyway, that's why I wanted to ask you a favor. If and when you manage to unravel the answer to the prophecy, could you let me know what it is? Not so much the prophecy itself, but Mondstadt as a nation. That's what I'm interested in. I was born in a distant land, but I have family and friends who once lived in Mondstadt for a long time. They said that it's a great place full of fairy tales and romance and recommended that I come for a visit. As it happens, someone I know has an anniversary coming up soon. So I figured this would be a good time to come here and see all the sights that she once saw. What do you think about Mondstadt so far? It certainly lives up to its name as the city of romance and freedom. <laughs> we think so too. So, about the prophecy. Thank you. You're very friendly. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. I'll leave it to you, then. I hope you continue to enjoy the city and have a wonderful day. She definitely isn't dressed like a local, huh? Where do you think her hometown could be? Please find me a flower that is not of this world, and a guide who will never get lost. Find me one who would never lie. As well as a legend that never ends. Huh? Huh? <sighs> I never thought I'd have someone secretly following me, even in a free city like Mondstadt. <sighs> Good day to you, miss. <sighs> 